mandi de bobos. <laughs> yes, Lord, we see you, my sister. Just say thank you to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Something is happening. Was it so before? Father, we thank you, Lord. I pray for the weakness of that pain right now, Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord. Just touch him, Jesus. Just, just go with him. Father, we thank you, Lord. For that I'm going to, to break every chain. Yes. To break everything, Almighty oh God. That's good unto the things of the kingdom. Yes. I pray, Lord, right now that she is free, Jesus. I pray, Lord Almighty God, free to worship God. Free, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Father, you are not a man that you should love. Neither is there a man that you should repent. I thank you, Lord. Thank God, my sister, is done. Shall lose 
on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Pray to the Lord. Hallelujah. Idols everywhere. Pagans would worship their pagan worship. Hallelujah. People could do things that are heavens. But Jesus played with words. It is at the very time for him, for the disciples to know who Jesus really is. It is a heaven. You, my disciples, you have been walking with me every day. Who do people out there say that I am? He was soliciting them to know what he wanted them to know. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who do people out there say I am? Yeah. And people started to say things. You are a liar, you are a liar, you are the prophet. We worship God every day. Believe you me. But this is exactly what we are doing. We are worshiping God every day. We are fasting almost every day. We are praying and doing all sorts of things. But yet we don't know who this Jesus is. He might find surviving right now as I speak. But if I were to ask you today, you would hear this. That you, you did not even hear before. They say vows, isn't it? Tying themselves that we are going to be together until they do us part. It means it is for that time they are always together. One knows the other. Why? Because they are constantly meditating about each and of their lives together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They know themselves. They, I know who my wife is. My wife knows who I am. Hallelujah. Based on that relationship, there are certain things that we can say and we can do. Hallelujah. Amen. That I cannot do with you. Neither should I say to you, if our mother here has got a son, there is a way she relates to a son. But it's different when she, be, she, she goes to the husband. It's different when she goes to a brother or to other people. You, I know who has revealed it to you. It is number one, my father. Now he's differentiating because there are so many fathers. Hallelujah. The one that is seated in heaven, he is the only one that has told you who are you. And Jesus turns back and says, Yes. Now, because your eyes have what? Been opened. Now, on this rock, on this understanding, on this revelation, I am now going to build my what? My church. Church is not built on prophecy. Forget it. Church is not built by what people can say, but whatever comes from their mouth of God that proceeds. And when Peter identified who Jesus was, Jesus said, when he says, yes, because of that, I also identify who you are. You are Peter. Hallelujah. The apostle. So we need to know who this Jesus is. That's the foundation of Christianity. If you don't know who he is, cry before God and say, Father, I need to know your identity. Because there's no way I can go. If we are talking about You have no Jesus. Nothing can ever happen. Why? Because the Jesus that is doing miracles, you have left him way away. And wherever you are, he's not inside you. So he can't do what he did there. Because the one that did all these things is not there. That's why Jesus is saying, you need to have that relationship. Personal. It's good for me to preach to you. But if you don't receive it, it's nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing that you respect is the very anointing that works inside you. God is working inside us. That's why the Bible says He does not look at the outside appearance. He looks on the inside. So what is in the inside? There's got to be the, the logos. The logos is fine, yes. But logos without the spirit is dead. It needs the never word. The word of God mingled with the spirit of God. That's why you find when you read the Bible without the Holy Spirit, you never understand it either. That's why people preach the word and nothing can happen. Why? Because there is one part that is missing. 
the spiritual thoughts. Praise be to the Lord. Who do you now say that I, Jesus, am in the midst of idols? Who am I in the midst of the session? Who do you say that I am in the midst of problems, situations, the same as is Jehovah Jehovah? Thank God. Yes. But to you, is he Jehovah Jehovah? Hey. He is a healer. Yes, he's a healer. But to you, who is he? Amen. Because we can go to our thing and think there's nothing wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's good to say those things. But we need to have something positive that the Lord has said directly to me. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus says, my father who is in heaven, he has revealed this to you and no one else. So don't hear it from the other person. Say, Lord, if you can use him, you can also use me. Why can't I get to his position? It means there is something, if he's going at 20 kilometers an hour, I have to go 25. Then it means something begins to happen. We have to accelerate. It cannot just come on a super plane. You have to wait for it. The Bible says, wait out for all salvation. Because what I'm preaching to you is what God has given me to give to you. But if you don't receive it, it might not make sense to you. But if you do, one day you will remind you have you not yet. <laughs> some people, someone was sitting in the river waiting for someone to push. Be careful. You might be one of those people. For how many years did I never used to feel that our Lord, I was just praying for six months. Yet I didn't know that the Lord wanted to plant a church. And one, I, when one day I said, Father, I'm now sick and tired of seeing these, these walls. One person came in who was an evangelist, and that was the beginning of the ministry. When this person went out wherever he, the person was going, said, Ah, I got a brother who, who wants to pray. Let's go and pray with him. The church was built. Like so when I'm talking about prayer, I know what I'm talking about, my sister. God can never give what he says to do. Hallelujah. In obedience what? to his words. Don't obey what I'm saying, but obey what God is going to say Amen. to you. Then it makes a lot of sense. And you walk in that stature. One day, if God allows me, you will see me say one day, Lord, Pastor, look what the Lord has done. You will now show me, ah, you know, from that time, he said, this happened. What I simply say is, Let's praise the Lord. Because I do not do it. It is Him. That does all that you can see. Let's just raise our hands and let this is that great. Father, we thank you.